Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Chartreuse Cobbler. Ah, this is a great cocktail. Mm -hmm. It's like a souped up gimlet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a fancy gimlet, right? Created by Oren Lerner. Mm -hmm. And it has a little show to it, too. It does. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Fun. Herbaceous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. And when we serve it to people, they love it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of fun to make, too. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So you need uh, gin. Like you would in a normal gimlet. That's right. We're using the Beef Eater 24 here today, which is like a normal gin with your juniper berries and your citrus rinds and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they have tea in there too. Yeah. yeah. Which I have never been able to taste. But they say it's in there. <laughs> and it's not 24 types of tea, it's just that it's infused for 24 hours. Oh, gotcha. I yeah. know. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta read the very fine print for yep, yep. learn that. <laughs> Green chartreuse, some simple syrup, mint. Some lime juice and some rosemary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like half of your herb garden is in here, right? <laughs> exactly. And the other half's in the chartreuse. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to explain more as we go, but let's start making yeah, it. Yeah, let's right? start making it. We're going to put one and a half ounces of the gin into our cocktail shaker. There's a little bit of a trick to it Yeah. as you make it. That's right. That's why we have the Milwaukee Fire Department. Hey, guys. <laughs> standing by over there with, right? in their gear. You can use any London dry style gin, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need Beef Eater 24. But that's what we like, and that was in his original recipe. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do a half ounce of the green chartreuse. Thank you. Made originally by the monks, and it's just about every delicious herb imaginable is in this thing. Mm -hmm. This is what I gargle with in the morning. <laughs> I keep a bottle in the car in case like, I get pulled over, like, oh. It gives you fresh breath, right? <laughs> yeah. No? Is that that's not a good a, idea, that's Phil? That's not a good idea. <laughs> um, Two-thirds ounce of simple syrup. I'm going to do one ounce of lamb juice here. Two-thirds is kind of an odd measure, isn't it, Phil? It is an odd measure. I'm going to reach for a beaker here. Excuse me. So we can <clears throat> multitask. There we go. Which our wives say we can't do, right? I think we're pretty good at multitasking. It's a mess. What's that? The women are good at it? <laughs> You're doing two things at once, but it still takes you just as long. One ounce <laughs> lime juice. Not really. I don't go. know. And then five to six mint leaves. Mm -hmm. We just throw in a sprig, which there's like six leaves on there. Sure. We just throw it in. Throw it in there. We don't slap it or do anything like ridiculous no. and showy because the show is yet to come, right? It Phil? is. Yep. And adding the ice and shaking it, that's going to get everything you need from the mint leaves. Anyway, right. So. so we're going to set that aside and let that sit for a minute mm -hmm. in our cocktail shaker. And then we're going to do the fun part, right? That's right. We have a big glass here. This is a triple old-fashioned glass, and then put a rosemary sprig that has been sitting in the green chartreuse in there, mm -hmm. right? So, we usually we use our fingers, but since we're on TV, we're going to use <laughs> uh, some forceps. And then we light that. That's right. And as it's smoking there and you're getting the aromatics from the burning rosemary, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to extinguish it by pouring the cocktail over it. Right, right? hopefully. Yeah. That's why we got the fire department over. Stand by, guys. <laughs> I think they're going to pass out over there. <laughs> and you light it from the bottom, of course. And the chartreuse, being high proof, is going to burn like crazy. And we'll try to extinguish that without catching your cuffs on fire. All right. And once you get rid of that sulfur smell from the match, you can really smell that nice oh, yeah. it rosemary. Very good. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful drink and delicious as well. Mm -hmm. Here you have your delightful chartreuse cobbler. Enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>